Hello folks, this is 2021 October November paper 42 and the question number is 8. This uh, question is concerned about the chapter magnetic field. It says two long straight uh, parallel wires P and Q carry currents into the plane of the paper. So that means the wires are like this, wires are like this and current is going in that direction, current is going in that direction as shown in figure 8.1. Uh, so cross means the current is going in that direction the current is going in that direction the current in uh, uh, p is i and the current in q is 2i okay so twice the current number a on figure 8.1 draw an arrow to show the direction of the magnetic field at wire q here here due to the current in wire p so we have to find the direction of magnetic field here due to this level this arrow p so this requires the use of the right hand thumb rule so let me apply the current is going in this direction so my thumb will be pointed this direction so it will be like this it will be like this so my thumb is this direction like this so see the direction of the other fingers here so the direction of the magnetic field should be like this actually it goes like this it goes like this so here it is like this and this is B this is the direction of the magnetic field here now again on figure 8.1 draw another wire an arrow to show the direction of the force acting on wire q so the force here due to the current in wire p so we have to find the direction of the force here label this arrow f so we have to find the force so for that what i must have is the magnetic field coming in this direction so this direction magnetic field is coming here okay, coming here i have to do this by the means of uh, left hand rule here left hand rule so the magnetic field is the, here and the, so since the twisting of fingers is uh, difficult so i am i am repositioning myself i am repositioning myself to the other side so that there will be some shadows here so sorry for that in order to have a better representation i have to reposition myself so i will change my position you won't see my position but i'm changing it so now what happens is okay the magnetic field is here this is the magnetic field and the current is down current is going down here down so the force should be here the force should be here magnetic field downward direction current you can see the middle fingers here they are going down down and the force will be in this direction in this direction so see you can see the thumb here the force here so 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 let me change my position again you can see some shadows over there this is because of my repositioning so the force will be will be will be in this direction force now number b state with a reason how the magnitude of the force acting on wire p compares with the magnitude of the force acting on wire q so uh, the two forces should be equal the two forces should be equal it's because the force depends on the pro product of current to one and two one and two product so here i1 is i1 is i i2 is 2i so that means f is proportional to proportional to i into 2i or f is proportional to 2i square which we can again write as f is proportional to i square i square so that's why uh, because of this thing the two forces should be equal exactly equal and this also follows from another principle which we, which we call as a second law of uh, sorry third law of motion of newton third law of motion motion which was proposed by sir isaac newton it says action reaction so if this is action this should be reaction and they should be equal to each other equal to each other so that was a crude uh, explanation but uh, when we go detail with the detailed theory of magnetism this also becomes equal now number three state how the direction of the force on wire p wire p compares with the direction of the force on wire q so we have to compare these two forces so the force on wire q is like this the force on wire p will be like this that means they are towards each other or i can say they are opposite to each other so i can say they are opposite to each other to each other each other because of which they undergo attraction resulting in resulting in resulting in attraction of the 
attraction of the two wires. So this is the answer to this question.